This week on Torah Tech Tips, we're going to talk about how to up your game using streaming software and virtual cameras. Welcome to Torah Tech Tips, I'm Rabbi David, and I'm here to help you teach the best Torah with some great tips. You know, when you're in a Zoom meeting and you're leading a service or teaching, or even if you're streaming on Facebook or YouTube, you're incredibly limited as to how creative you can be in this little box that you have here. You basically have a talking head, your face, and you can screen share. But if you up your game just a little bit by using some streaming software and virtual cameras, it can make all the difference. So today, that's what we're going to talk about. Streaming software and virtual cameras. Now, I'm not going to show you how to use these tools. There are much smarter people out there who can do that. But by using a virtual camera or a streaming program, you can have overlays like that or that one, or you can even do this and pop into sharing your screen with you right there on the screen instead of a little tiny square box up there. There are lots of other things that you can do with the streaming software, but let me show you around a few of them. We're gonna go from simple, cheap, to complex and more expensive with one exception. So this is called Prezi Video. Some of you have probably used Prezi. It's a way to create really dynamic and engaging and creative presentations. So Prezi Video is a virtual camera and you can create moving and, and, and interactive presentations in Prezi video. You can import them from Prezi or build them right in there. And then you can use this as a camera when you're streaming, when you're in a meeting. So for example, you can see on this example from these videos that there are things flying all over the screen and the screen and parts of the presentation are popping up and going in and out and the person is still there. It really makes it engaging and it allows you to stay connected to your audience. That's Prezi video. The next one I want to show you is called Mm-hmm. This is new on the scene. Mm-hmm is really cool. Mm-hmm, <laughs> which has a fantastic name, um, is also a presentation software. Now this doesn't have a virtual camera, but you can screen share from Zoom and still see yourself. So with Mm-hmm, you can change your backdrop, put yourself over um, a background, bring in slides, share different um, uh, engaging content. You can even set up different slides to move through, to scroll through as you're presenting. And this all happens just by screen sharing and having the Mm-hmm app downloaded on your computer. Um, right now, I believe Mm-hmm is just for Mac. I could be wrong about that. It's just showing up for Mac on my computer, but it's a really fun new player on the uh, virtual camera and um, streaming scene. The next one is called ManyCam. ManyCam is a Mac application. I'm on a Mac, so a lot of what I'm sharing, you, uh, sharing with you today are Mac apps. There are PC alternatives to these. ManyCam is a really nice alternative if you want to up your game a little bit. So ManyCam is, in some ways, a very full-fledged Street piece of streaming software. You can have layers, you can have overlays, excuse me, you can use green screen, what's called chroma key. Um, there's a virtual webcam which allows you to bring, uh, bring yourself in um, to Zoom meetings, for example, picture in picture. Um, and you can see along the bottom, you have all your different scenes. You can set them up ahead of time. So if you're going in to teach a class or run a service, you can have everything set up ahead of time and then just um, use this as your, um, as your streaming tool or as your virtual camera. Um, ManyCam's a really nice program. You can get started for free and then there's a paid plan. This is what I use. This is called Ecamm Live. Again, sorry, this is a Mac application. Ecamm Live. Ecamm Live is a little expensive. It's 300 and something dollars for the year. They just upped their prices actually. It's incredibly powerful, incredibly powerful. Um, you can uh, interview guests. So if you're doing a, um, uh, a stream and you want to just have, not in a Zoom meeting, but you're streaming to Facebook or YouTube and you want to bring in guests, this natively allows you to bring guests in. Um, you can have lots of different overlays, animated overlays, text overlays. Um, you can uh, play pre-recorded video. You can have sound effects. This is really 
this is the everything. Everything is built into Ecamm Live. It's a really, really wonderful uh, program. And I found that the creators of Ecamm Live are incredibly engaged with their audience and with their community. So there are Facebook groups. So if you need help, if you need support getting set up with Ecamm Live, it's just a wonderful, wonderful tune. You can pan and zoom your camera. Um, it's outstanding and it really allows you to up your game. The final tool is called OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. Now OBS is for its cross-platform, so it's for um, Mac or PC or Linux. It's a very, very powerful tool. In many ways, it's just as powerful as Ecamm Live. It's open source, it's completely free. The fact that it's open source and completely free means that it's not really as user friendly as I need. So I'm, I'm quite techy, but I'm also quite dumb. Um, and I need something that's, that's you know, WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. And it's drag and drop. And OBS is a little more complicated than that. So, um, it, but if you're into really exploring and learning about all the different technologies and what you can do and how you can make it work the best for you, OBS is a fantastic and free choice. So all of these different tools, whether you're using Prezi Video or Ecamm or OBS, all of these different streaming software tools and, and live cameras that you can bring, or virtual cameras rather, that you can bring into Zoom, really allow you to up your game. And they're fantastic tools also to just make it more fun, to have more fun with the Torah that you're sharing. I promise you every week to give you a free tip. And so here's my free tip of the week. Bring the energy. You know, as a rabbi, I've always struggled with to what extent am I performing for my congregants or for my students? Well, when you're online, it is very much a performance. The energy that our bodies give off when we're in person isn't there when you're online. And so it's so important that when you are presenting, when you're teaching, when you're leading, that you bring the energy, that you make eye contact, that you have use your facial expressions. All these technology tools are fantastic for upping your game, but the best way to up your game, to make the most of this technology, is to bring your own energy. Plug into the Wi-Fi, get yourself an Ethernet connection, make sure your computer's powered up, but also make sure you're connected, make sure that you're powered up so you bring your A-game and that energy translates into whatever you're showing and teaching. Friends, I hope that these te tech tip Torah tools were helpful for you this week. I'll see you next week with another edition, another episode of Torah Tech Tips.